What's the easiest and surest way to make money? Our colonists are about to find out in part four of Game of Rent. Many years have passed and some young citizens will never be able to afford their own land and can only look forward to a life of low stagnant wages, so they decide to seek their fortune in a new frontier. Sarah, Tim, and Leroy pack up and set off. Amazingly, they're able to find a spot just like the one their forefathers founded, a fertile field by a mine and a port. What luck! This time, armed with the lessons learned from the first colony, they've unlocked a new talent, land speculation. The gang sets up shop, the same process happens. Land is claimed, wages go down as the utility of the next best available land is lower each time, until eventually all land is claimed and wages are as low as people are willing to accept. Because our settlers have seen this show before, they claimed more land than they could actually work. Let's take a look at how this impacts the production of our colony compared to the original one. As you can see, by holding land out of use, total production in the colony is lower, but the proportion that is captured by landlords is actually greater. The colony creates less wealth and has more inequality. That doesn't make any sense. Who wants society to be less productive overall? As we saw in the last episode, as the colony grows, these lots will become valuable and fetch market prices based on the capitalization rate plus a speculative premium, which can be even greater when fewer pieces of property are available for use. If we use the same capitalization rate of 5%, then these lots held vacant and out of use can be put on the market for a base total of 1400000 Don't forget the speculative premium. Seems pretty dire, huh? We'll come back for part 5 and we'll see if we can figure out a way to make things even worse.